Simon and Catherine made it to Theta and now need to find the Dunbat. A vehicle made for extreme pressure environments, only with the Dunbat will they be able to enter the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. Ah, uh, we're... Well, we're back inside. Oh, my light's on right now. Turn it off. It, it's, so, it's so hard to tell when my flashlight's even on. Alright. I was kind of... I was frankly kind of relishing being in the ocean floor. It's so much less scary in practice. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. Doing that initial listen while we're stuck here. It's like, is anything coming at me right now? New base, alright. That might be a corpse. Definitely stuff disheveled everywhere. Tossed aside office supplies, obviously broken window, or... Cracked window. Blood stains everywhere, not a good sign. Everyone's probably dead. I'm under the assumption right now that I think everyone died a long time ago. The one character that's stuck being kept alive is kept alive. So with those creepy uh, lung pumps, but by and large, I think everything happened a long time ago because all the, a lot of these places that are damaged, that should have been like a lot, there's places that should have been available not too long ago, like pe characters supposedly that we're following were there, but those places are completely uh, flooded out. Specifically, the places where the murderer was, where he was supposedly camping out. A lot of that stuff's all fucked up. Ooh, I can use you to go break that window keep track of that. Can I open you at all? No. Come on. There we go. They probably want me to just check around a little bit. Alright. That door doesn't look very openable. I can probably break that window though. Here, I'll leave this by the stairs in the gore. I'll take a quick look around over here. Is that something shiny down there? It's probably a reflection acting up a little bit. Howdy y'all. Omnitool. That's what I figured. I figured about as much. After all, why would they give me a breakable window? If I could just open it up, like, no big deal. Alright. Time for a classy bit of breaking and entering. And entering. Yes, breaking and enders game. Alright. Boom! Not sure what I was expecting there. Let's try again. <laughs> I've played games in the past where you can just throw comically far. All right, this game's grounded in like some sort of reality or something. There we go. The mechanic's so good they used it twice. I hear grinding. Oh, that's just this. All right, let's put you out of the way so I don't surprise myself with you anymore. A lot of stuff on the ground around here. Huh. Door? No opening it from this side. Oh, there's another fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. <laughs> uh, fire extinguisher. Can I read you? Nope, that's not a readable texture. Emergency life support. More stuff I can't read. Anything opening around here? Hello. Come on, hey. I'm just waiting for our condemned moment where it, with a scary locker. I'm waiting. I know it's gonna happen. It's, they can't have this many lockers and not have a condemned moment at some point. We're here? We're here! Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the Abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or a virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air. Good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. 
Attached to a pro, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Now I'm going to die. I'm not taking you with me. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. It's a good thing that we're apparently, like, om omnipotent, and definitely know when I'll never need another Omni tool ever again. Alright, I'll take it. Can I read that? I can't read that. Crumpled note. Yeah. Feel like a human again. Get out of my way, chair. I can't use you. Eh. Don't like you. Alright. That is a freaky looking computer. What is that? Sticky notes? Webcam? Keyboard? Bouncy ball! It is not sufficiently bouncy. Is it not a bounce ball? Is it actually like a stress ball? That is, that is very unsatisfying. What are you? What, are you a stress ball? You're, oh yeah, you're a, squeeze, you're a stress ball. I don't need a stress ball. Do I look like I'm stressed? Here, here, Catherine, it's for you. That was kind of satisfying. Is it going to fall off the table? Suspense? Suspense as it spins endlessly. Did I break physics? I think I broke physics, you guys. Just gonna keep spinning there forever. Cool. It'll be a test of whether or not they save the location of that kind of stuff. Site status. All oh, systems operational. Uh, whole subcoat untacked 99%. Armor 84%. Life support. Wow. Air is clean. Temperature 13 degrees Celsius. I mean, you're made up temperature degrees. <laughs> Pressure is two bars. Last diagnosis. 2104 in April. So that was January. That's recent, isn't it? I mean, like that means that that the uh, the, the diagnosis time lines up s somewhat with the uh, in time of the attack. Main level. So we're on this floor, which is shaped exactly how you'd think it is. Oh, black box beacon. Almost pointless to know the locations because it seems to be basically everywhere. Level two. A lot more black box. Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Are black boxes part of everyone's bodies? Does that locate them, them all? So that, that means there's four people downstairs, six people downstairs, and a whole lot on the level negative two. Staff. Lots of people. Uh, some people listed as being alive still. That's promising. Oh, that's a lot of- that's a lot of people, by the way. Including Upsilon. Gavin Finley, Nathan Grau, Astrid Creer, Luis Mirren. A lot of dead people there. Is the guy that killed everyone here... He'd be... I don't think he's listed there, actually. So a lot of people are deceased or missing, but like... Maybe half or a third of people see are still accounted for according to this. Am I gonna see people die? Or am I gonna find them as robots that are still around? There's our map. So there's there we go. So that's actually the map of the Atlantic Ocean. There's Africa, the Western Sahara. We're like right we're at, yeah, we're really out there in the ocean then. Not near any landmass. We're not exactly gonna be swimming home. It's still spinning? Ah, uh, physics, you disappoint me. Why'd you have to come back? I didn't miss you. Alright, let's head out of here. Now we can roam the ship. And also, oh, doors open. Which means, if I encounter something, which I probably will, it can also roam the ship. I'm betting. That's not great. that's not the- Ah! Uh. Don't do that. What was that? Is it just tur- Let's just assume it's turning on. 
I'm just gonna assume that was the whole ship turning on. This looks like a Mass Effect. This looks a lot like Mass Effect right now. The first game. Those space spaces you'd go to. Uh, can, you, can you turn the base on faster, Catherine? Why like, they this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Catherine, I would prefer it if you uh, tr turned on rooms before I got to them. So I can just walk into a well lit room that doesn't go thundering awake all of a sudden. So we have a healing spot. I would say they all left this floor because it's infected with all this crazy shit. It's probably got a monster of some kind dwelling on it, and they're probably hiding on a different floor. Maybe they figured out what detracts it. And escaped from that. I'm just waiting for what I'm gonna do that's gonna trigger something showing up. Is that a golf bag? No, it's not. <laughs> it is not a golf bag. Just had the right shape, you know? Garbage. What if, what if, in, the, what if in, in a garbage can was actually the key of, like, what I need at some point? You know what? I'm gonna be proactive about this situation. We're gonna clean up Theta. There we go. Recycle, motherfucker. Close. There we go. Alright, well that happened. <laughs> What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. She startled me, I forgot. We haven't had her... We haven't had her in the system quite like this since we first found her. So like, she is in the speaker system again like she was when we first, first uh, put her in our first computer. And so now she's gonna be talking to me through her walls, which is kind of freaky because it's, it's not in my... It's not the omnipresent sound you get normally. Fuck. Station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that. I'm just worried about my colleagues. What happened? What was that? Excuse me. I just. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? My game freaked the fuck out just now. Crazy noise stuff happening. Well, we finally got to see what I look like. I look like a hunter from Destiny, kind of, actually. Uh, uh, Exo Hunter. I'm very clearly not human. He knew it was coming, but now we got to see it for sure. That's hard to deal with. Is this... Uh... Uh... Is this gonna end with me hiding in a bathroom from something? The room just does that? Oh fuck this room. Fuck this whole base, god damn it. Is this the is this just the female's bathroom? I guess that one could have been the female bathroom, I don't know. Bathrooms don't really look different from to me. Something's gonna happen in one of these. I just know it. No? Lockers? This is a- this is a weirdly empty environment. Oh look, toothbrushes. Nothing's sc- oh, this- this must be the men's bath bathroom, those deodorant- No, everyone wears deodorant, what am I talking about? Ah. Oh. Are we Dunzers now? Are you just broken? Oh, not- I'm not taking the elevator, apparently. Oh, that's a terrible sign. If they went down the elevator to, to escape... And the elevator's ripped open. That means that whatever whatever did this probably went after them. They probably didn't actually escape. Uh, stairs downstairs, blocked off by crazy. So is the up direction. What's that? Yeah, we're we're hearing noises over here. 
just gross matter of being weirdly alive. Bad guy. There's gotta be a bad guy around here. I just know it. These are people's personal rooms. So those are quarantine seals? Guy Conrad. Let's go ahead and seal ourselves in here so nothing sneaks up on me. Alright, Guy, what were you like? Some files. You were gonna ST77 Mazer? What is that? Is, it, is that just a wiring diagram? Electric hazard. Ooh, messages probably. No? No messages. Book. Tech ref. So technical references, bed. Freaky image of like a... What? Oh. That actually looks like a Mass Effect 2 reference. Oh wait, no, that's like a weird... Walkway with the archway. I thought that was a chair. That would that would have been elusive, man. No, not a lot going on in here. Oh, lights. That's convenient. This one just doesn't open at all, apparently. All right, Nadine. Maggie, Komarebi. She's she's one of the people that died downstairs. Brandon Wen. She got attacked. Catherine Chun. Hey, that's Mara. Bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. Speaking of memories, you want to tell me something, Catherine? I'm going to read your journal. Oopsie. Uh, June 6, 2013. Oh, <laughs> 2103. Uh, Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically crafted it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and Reed along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. So this is what, the next day? Nope, about a week later. After dissecting the vivarium machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point, where my capsule ho uh, houses flat people constructed from model neurographs the vivarium's brain uh, scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content. From the originating brain scan, Reed emerged. The Reed inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it, says a week later. I, have, I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it worked with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They're already prepared in the type of electromagnetic drums needed. Next day, it was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the diffraction and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and using it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. Was that, uh, about a week, about two weeks later? With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on li like that. How much later is that? Uh, about a week later again. Oh. Mark Sarang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the Ark. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff, and apparently it's my fault somehow. Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. The people are killing themselves to get because they think that's going to get them in AR capsule. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before. I unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. 
New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system go much better. Implement implemented read. Didn't go well. New try with read. Reed won't play nicely with others. She is too real. Huh. They're not getting along with... The capsule Catherine and Reed aren't getting along together? I wonder if we're gonna find, uh... Oh, what if we find the real Catherine somewhere over the course of this game? That'd be a crazy situation. To find real cat, have like an interaction between real Catherine and fake Catherine. Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. Ah, that's nice. Just going through all your stuff. Don't mind me. As you watch, don't care about your posted notes. Share. You are nothing but an encumbrance to me. There we go. What? Are, what are these? Stalk up say original maximum is that menstrual flow? Yep, those are tampons or no they're are they pads? That's that's enough information. Don't play with scissors, kids. It's dangerous. You might poke your eye out or a robot or something. That's slightly off putting <laughs> in the context of this game to have a marionette on your desk. All right, well, got anything hidden in- oh, lid just came right off. Can I take- bring the- bring the rest of it down here? What is that? What is that? It's like a- is it a piece of the infection or like a model of the infection? It almost looks like it was created like fake. Oh, maybe it's just a sample. Like they found it out there, and she was and she was looking at it, <laughs> putting it away, being all reasonable and stuff. What a cool little thing to just find stashed away. The dolls. Is it a, a knight or a porcelain doll? You have a lot of toys. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Oh, oh, oh! My bad. I'm putting it back. It's just, I feel like I have to milk this for all it's worth, because we're going through her stuff and she's watching. We get feedback in real time. What's this? That's just a beanie. Oops. And it's lost forever now. Big bottle of water. Bed. Oh, hand workout. Toy! Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. Because his head's massive and made of metal. That might have something to do with it. He's got a spine, which is slightly creepy. Just gotta hold him just like this and he's not that creepy. There you go. Uh, it's not really a great direction in general, actually. Here. You might as well watch the world burn. There you go. Oh, that's an unfortunate pose. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, that's not gonna work. Workout equipment. Clothes. I think that's actually it. Just shut up. You're gonna, go, you're gonna go back in there if you don't shut up. You're gonna, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> no creepy noises. Stop your Bioshock shit. Eh. Eh. There we go. He doesn't have to see what's gonna happen. <laughs> Shoo, you're in my way. I need to close. I need to tidy up. Fuck it. I just- I just keep expecting to turn around and see something, that's for sure. Hey, guys. Ah! Strohmeyer was her neighbor. Mark Sarong, he's the suicide guy. Danger restricted area. Am I, am I about to get in trouble for opening that one? That one doesn't say danger. What's dangerous about specifically Sarong? Oh, this one's already open. Oh, fuck. There's no lights in this room. It's just- everything's just growing in here. Thanks for the creepy music, asshole. Well, I know this is one more place I can heal if something goes wrong. 
The amount of stuff I'm seeing around here just further indicates that I'm probably gonna see a monster. They're giving me, they're giving me a few healing spots. One near the beginning and one over here. I'm get, I'm guessing something might... I'm guessing something might, bad might happen when I open that, sh that door that says danger on it. What's back here? Oh, fuck you. Uh, we have a monster. We have a monster. My screen is freaking out. And I hear... Creepy zombie noises? There's something in there. Drag you in here real quick. Huh. Oh, good. Everything's bloody in here. We have clothes. Thing that doesn't open. I think I saw the tiniest glimpse of the monster, but I couldn't tell. Why is that happening? Am I supposed to look at that? Like a children's image of the Ark, perhaps? An image of the simulation surrounded by someone who drew pictures around it? Oh, it means there was children here, doesn't it? Uh, no, I mean drawings don't have to be children. It could have just been someone who liked drawing in general. And only had primary colors. Okay, that's pretty bad drawing. That was probably a child. Who had a child here? Oh, shit. That's why the sound was happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, this has a really weird weight to it, where it's hard to manipulate. <laughs> oh, man. That's not great. Alright. Did someone kill their kid here? Where's their bodies? Wait, is this like a weird... That almost feels like a reference to, a uh, Cradle. Came out early enough before this game came out that they could have they could have like sort of squished this in here as a reference. <laughs> We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. So they killed themselves because they thought they killed themselves hoping that they'd get on the Ark after making a bunch of drawings about how amazing it's going to be. That looks so specifically like the exact flower. Maybe not exactly, but it looks so much like the flower from Cradle. That totally makes me think that that's a reference to Cradle. Random horse picture? Probably a stock image of a cat, or a developer's cat. Oh, look how happy they think they're gonna be. They're dead now. They don't exist. They're gone forever. Chair? Calm your shit with your crazy ass freaking music and look it around. Really, nothing in there. All right. Really seemed like a place there'd be something there. Oh, is it a scanner? Think you can put the images in there? Maybe. Wonder what's in the locked cabinet. Monster. It's gotta happen when I open this one. It even says danger on it. Like they're warning the player specifically. Uh -huh. See what happens. It's just been so long since something happened. I'm just worried. Does this one have a light? Sweet. Oh, it's, it's dank in here, Mr. Suicide. Maybe you killed yourself because you had poor lighting. What do you have? Oh, he was he was obsessing over the creature. They had some sort of sample locked up in a cell in the lab. Or equations? Is it about the rate of the growth or something? Just obsessing over whatever stuck here, whatever they had captured. Oh man. 
He's looking at the he the weird healing pods. The things that repair cybernetic creatures. Whole map. Seems to be focused on Theta and pointing in every other direction. There's Omicron. Lambda. Epsilon. Look how far we've come. We've, come, we've started all the way over there and now we're here. Don't know what the arrows indicate necessarily. But our goal is to get over there. Is that the or- oh no. The arrows almost seem to indicate that this- that this whole thing started. These arrows are pointing where we're trying to go, Phi and Tau. Is that what's there? That where the- where these things are? It seems to indicate that that's what the thing was that spread in the first place. And that that's what got everywhere else. So this is somewhere- this is in Chun's lab? Somewhere in Tau. Which is probably where we're going next, and then it spread to here, so it's probably the worst infection there, which would make sense, because it's a video game. As you progress through, you're gonna get to the shittier part, probably. Data. Data. It's hard to read. Yeah, I don't know how I'd read, ever read that, actually. But nice... Nice details in the environment, I guess. What's that? Carthage. March 7th, 20, 2102. Mark Sarang Intelligence Agents, uh, Theta Pathos 2. Mr. Sarang, the company is very pleased to hear of your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is, and that you, you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is... Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we will hope to follow- uh, we, we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Supervisory Board. So he played a role here in the spreading. Nature of identity. Oh. Questions about the self. Who are you? What does it mean to be human? Does your body or your surroundings confine or define you? All very difficult ideas to, appro to approach without having your questions be invalidated by the practical or mystified by the spiritually minded. In this book, uh, Pavlina Mar uh, Martinu, professor of philosophy at the Charles University uh, in Prague, Guides you through the history of great thinkers and what you have to say, what they have to say about identity. A lot of characters to investigate around here. Already gone through this one. Just did a quick scan. Notebook. Can I open you? Ooh. Diagrams of some kind of floating orb thing. That's almost gonna. That's almost certainly gonna come up as being something I have to deal with in a later room. Probably getting glimpses of stuff from towards the end. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing the, to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce uh, completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you're... When you discover the truth behind my death, know that there's no tragedy to mourn, for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mr. Mark Sarang. So yeah, he was- he went insane with grief about what happened to the world and... ...trying to figure out how to- what- how to go on in this situation. So he devised a completely absurd plan on how he was gonna... Did you know that the human body consists of up to 75 trillion individual cells? They typically don't stay with us till we die. Some live a few days, while others live a few years. We're not affected by their short lifespans, as they're replaced by new cells which help sustain our bodies. I don't think anyone would argue that we ever lose our persona due to this process. Yet we are clearly in a constant state of transformation. <laughs> then how do we remain the same? A continuous flow of thought and perception keeps an unbroken chain of continuity that we know as our self. Our conscious mind is not the pattern of our brain, 
but a continuous emergent entity based on that pattern. When Dr. Chun populates the Ark, she is capturing a moment of our existence and placing it inside the digital world. Soon you and your digital you will grow apart due to diverging experiences, but for a tiny window, you are the very same. With unbroken continuity, it will live on. A fulfilling life, no doubt, no less real than the one from which it was plucked. Now remember, you are not your body. You are the emergent entity. That entity just happens to occupy two places at once for a while. If you took away your body, you would simply be the only one you can be. The you inside the Ark. Let your body die and continue on in the digital paradise among the stars. So he's trying to apply the Schrodinger's cat concept to to being alive, to sentience in general. I don't know if that kind of logic flies, honestly. 